Hi, in today's lecture we are going to discuss trigonometry. We have started trigonometry and uh, our first topic in this trigonometry is trigonometric ratios. So trigonometric ratios are basically, uh, these are ratios of sides of a triangle. So initially we start with right angle triangle. You see uh, this is a right angle triangle ABC and uh, we assume that this is the theta. What are we looking for? Now, opposite to the 90 degrees always hypotenuse, opposite to this theta, this is uh, perpendicular or sometimes called opposite. And the third side is adjacent side or base. Now, we have three uh, trigonometric ratios known as sine of uh, theta, uh, cos of theta and tan of theta. So, sine theta, cos theta and tan theta. So, when we have perpendicular over hypotenuse, like we have ratio of perpendicular and hypotenuse we, we say that this is perpendicular over hypotenuse name of this trigonometric ratio is sine similarly if we have ratio of base over hypotenuse that is known as cos of theta so base over hypotenuse would be cos theta and the third one is uh, perpendicular over base this is known as perpendicular over base that is known as uh, tan of theta so these are three ratios that are that will be used to find out unknown sides and unknown angles of uh, this triangle okay now for example we uh, have these three triangles given in the figure ABC is a right angle triangle and it is given that this angle is 30 degree and opposite to 30 this is usually perpendicular let's let's write as perpendicular and opposite to 90 degree this is always hypotenuse so now uh, if we uh, want to find out this perpendicular side we have to identify like first of all which trigonometric ratios we are going to apply it's perpendicular over hypotenuse so you see uh, perpendicular over hypotenuse is coming as sine or you could use the opposite over hypotenuse as well so perpendicular over hypotenuse is basically sine theta so you go like this it's sine of 30 is equal to x divided by 10 right and uh, then you could cross multiply this 10 over here so it's 10 into sine 30 that is equal to value of x so 10 into sine 30 if you use calculator sine 30 would be equal to 1 by 2 so x is equal to 5 so that means this length is equal to 5 right now similarly if you see uh, this question yes if you see this question now here again uh, this is a right angle triangle and we can apply trigonometric ratios here so it's a b and c right now this x is unknown and opposite to 90 degree we know that this side is hypotenuse and this is base opposite to angle is perpendicular so we have a relation between base and hypotenuse so let's see what should we apply using sine cos or tan so it's base over hypotenuse it's base over hypotenuse we apply that is cos so we have cos of 60 that is equal to x divided by 20 when you cross multiply it's 20 into cos of 60 that is equal to x and uh, 20 into cos 60 is 1 by 2 if you use your calculator so it is equal to 10 so x is equal to 10 so we did one example of sine one example of cos now let's let's do one example using tan of theta so here you go now in this question this is a right angle triangle now this is base this is hypo, uh, perpendicular and this is hypotenuse right opposite to this is perpendicular this is base now we need to know when we have perpendicular and base what trigonometric ratio we are going to apply so it's tan theta so tan theta is equal to perpendicular over base so it's perpendicular over base yes we are going to apply tan here so it's tan of theta theta given is 45 degrees that is equal to x divided by 10 perpendicular over base you cross multiply it it's 10 into tan of 45 that is equal to x 
so if you use your calculator 1045 is equal to 1 so value of x comes 10 in this case okay in in this question we have a b and c this is a right angle triangle again now if you see this is 30 degree given and uh, this is base hypotenuse and perpendicular are missing okay uh, for students who are simply starting this topic I would suggest you that you should write sine cos and tan perpendicular or hypotenuse base or hypotenuse perpendicular or base on side of the page okay and uh, yes so it is sine theta is perpendicular or hypotenuse cos theta is equal to base or hypotenuse and tan theta is equal to perpendicular over base so now in this question we need to find value of x and value of y so first of all identify which side is perpendicular base or hypotenuse so like this is perpendicular opposite to this 30 degree it is known as perpendicular side opposite to this is hypotenuse so we see perpendicular and hypotenuse it's a sine ratio so sine of 30 is equal to x divided by y okay but right now we don't have value of x and y so we cannot find either let's use tan first and uh, in tan now first let's use tan of 30 that will be equal to x divided by 60 degree so you cross multiply it it is 60 into tan of 30 if you use your calculator you get 1 by root 3 and you can find out value of tan 30 that's 1 by 3 times 60 so your x value is equal to 60 divided by under root 3 right now in order to find value of y what we can apply we can apply sine since now we know that value of x is this so here you go value of its sine of 30 is equal to value of x is we just calculated 60 divided by root 3 divided by y we cross multiply y is equal to 60 divided by root 3 whole divided by sine of 30 so that is going to be y equals to 120 divided by root 3 so this is your value of y in this question so that's how if we have two unknowns given in one question we could find we could easily find a value of x or value of y